We're looking for holes, cracks, and crevices. Typically, you'll find them along the siding. This is a runway right here. Like a couple of crime scene investigators. That's an access point. They treat the property like a puzzle, piecing together. Here we go. Here's one. Probably most homeowners' worst nightmare. I'm okay here. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Once you find the den, it's pretty easy. The pest control guys pull five snakes from hiding in less than an hour. I think it's great that they're not in my house, <laughs> and they're there, right? But today's find doesn't truly tell the hell Angie Whitley has been living through. I hate that she's going through this. That's where we found the two today. The evidence of that lurks in her basement, now torn apart and littered with snake traps. I'll be upstairs. As a nurse and a single mom, Whitley spent years renting a townhouse in order to save enough for a down payment for a new start. It was clean, new carpet, new paint. This split level in Oak Park Heights seemed like the perfect neighborhood for her two kids to grow up in. Several walkthroughs and an inspection yielded no trouble. But 45 minutes after closing on October 5th, plenty of it slithered in. I brought my first sort of box in downstairs to, the, to my bedroom and I found a snake. And one quickly turned into three, four, five. Oh God. Today, it's six months later, I and mean, I'm about now 95 snakes uh, that I found inside my house. That's 95 inside. You can see one that just came out now. A few hundred more outside. In the snake world, this is up there. Angie Whitley now knows a garter snake den is somewhere under her property, which sits close to a marsh. Water creates a big void underneath the foundation that's where the corner of her house is. The perfect location for a reptile attracted to heat and to each other. They were in their little ball. Whitley has spent more than $13,000 herself trying to rid her family of the problem, ripping up her finished basement to tightly seal off any potential cracks. If you can fit a pencil through, they could fit through. And pumping out 40 gallons of water from a large hole she found in the foundation. We really thought that that was the problem. Still, the spring has brought the snakes back. Here's an opening. Adam's Pest Control has now donated their services to try to locate the snake den. A lot of sleepless nights. Well, Whitley now sleeps upstairs on the couch and stays out of the basement. Bump in the road that I'm not quite sure how to solve yet. Desperate for relief and for this sickening puzzle to be solved once and for all. We're going to get it. It will be done. Liz Collin, WCCO 4 News.